who you think is going to win this game and, and, and how you think the matchup is going to play out? <laughs> Grant, I've said it. I've said it a million times already. They're, they're not winning this game. They got no shot at winning this game. They Here's the problem. The Rams are coming off of a game where they just got embarrassed on TV by the Titans. One that, by the way, their head coach came out and said, that's on me. Just want to be clear about that. That's what a real head coach does. But they have an axe to grind. Not to mention four straight losses to the San Francisco 49ers. Do you think that Aaron Donald has forgotten about those Debo Instagram antagonistic posts that he threw his way? Do you think McVay is happy hearing that Shanahan's his daddy? No. No. They are out for blood. And I promise you that if they get ahead and they have any chance to run up the score, they're absolutely going to do it. Expect that. Oof. Jimmy Ward's probably what Jimmy Ward's not playing, right? He's out we'll still. See. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. If Jimmy's Jimmy Ward's out, this is a disaster for this team. That's how important Jimmy Ward is. I think that they hang 40 on the Niners. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 41 to 20 Rams. Oh, I don't think the 49ers have a shot in this game. Look, look, I'm gonna give the Niners a chance. I'm the negative one, but I was watching that Rams game, and it seemed to me that the problem the Rams were having was they were getting a lot of pressure right up the middle. So what they was happening was Stafford was having to move laterally, and you know, Eric Armstead can get pressure up the middle. I'm not a big Armstead guy, but he can do it. He did it against the Cardinals. He just hit Colt McCoy in the helmet. If he can not do that, he can get the pressure. And if you get if you can get Stafford to move laterally, you can get Bosa involved in a positive way. Rams are going to kill him. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what to tell him. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm trying here, man. Like, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Maybe if they were playing in L.A., they, they might pull it off. But at home, no chance. No, this is this is going to be ugly. I I I don't know what to say. If you can't even hold the torch to a B team Cardinals, there's no shot in this game. Fifty six to seven Rams. Yeah, and again, it doesn't seem like the kind of team the Niners that's like rallying around itself and finding a second gear or at all. Win. Like they no. looked at the kind of team that's like, well, bail, 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 bail. I'm not going to be here next yeah. year. You going to be here next year? You're going to be here next year? Oh, me neither. Let's bail. Let's bail. Bail. Can I say something too? Uh, we were talking about leaders earlier. I genuinely think Trey Lance is a natural leader. I do. He's one of the few people that is pulling people aside, giving them high fives too. as I they come Jimmy off the has field. Some natural leadership tendencies too. But when you have a head coach like Kyle, quarterback can't lead a team. That's true. Can't. That's true. I, honestly, I, I, I kind of like Jimmy. He has some natural leadership qualities. He's professional. I mean, I slander his name every day, and he looks at me with a smile every day. He's, how you doing, Grant? Appreciate you. He 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 doesn't ever blame himself, but he also – he just doesn't use the word I. He's just always we, 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 we. It's – he's a better leader than Kyle. I'll just say that. He's a better leader than Kyle. I think Trey has the ability to be a special, special leader. I think that was measured at the combine, right? Like It's like yep. an aptitude test for this. He was off the charts. I've seen it. Um Kyle is the one that could learn something from that 21 year old man, that, that, that 30 year old quarterback. Those he could learn from both of his quarterbacks. Yep. And you know what? The reason the Niners have no leadership on offense is Kyle's fault. If he could pick one quarterback, either one could do it. There's a reason that Jimmy's won so many games. He actually performs the function. Kyle's Jimmy Garoppolo should be the next head coach, Grant. <laughs> Play I, coach. I, I have respect for Jimmy. I mean, he's a relatively too, limited quarterback. And yeah. I wouldn't want him to be my quarterback, but I respect him so much more than I respect Kyle Shanahan. It's not even close. It's not even close. And if I were sitting with Jimmy in a private moment having a beer, I'd be like, dude, I'm so sorry. It sucks that you have to work with him. And I would imagine him to be like, ha! Yeah, no so idea. It does suck. No idea. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. I'm it, sorry. You know, that's that's the funny thing, right? This offseason, and I know that you heard it. Oh, you're just bashing Jimmy G. You're a hater, da, da, da. His own head coach True. bashed him more than we ever could. True. The small things he said in the media, trying to find a way out from under Jimmy for three straight seasons, nobody spoke louder than the head coach of this team. 
Yeah, I'm you're not, not mad at the coach for it. Jimmy, but, the, but that's not Kyle's thing here. Kyle's thing is blaming Jimmy for the Super Bowl loss. That's what it all yep. comes back to. Yeah, of course, yep. Jimmy's not great. You want a great quarterback. You could have had Tom Brady. You yep. said no to that. This is all about blaming Jimmy for the Super Bowl loss. And, if, yeah, he blew it in the fourth quarter, but Kyle's to blame. You could have just called runs, Kyle. You could have called runs. That's on you. Yeah, absolutely. You're Absolute. absolutely right about that. Yep. And I do feel bad to an extent for Jimmy that I've allowed Kyle to sort of shape my narrative. It's Jimmy's fault. No, Kyle, it's not. It's partially his fault, but it's more your fault. By the way, I completely agree. Completely agree.